Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we are about to go through my favorite virally drugstore products of 2022 and I'm gonna tell you what is worth your time and money. Subscribe before you leave. We ain't wasting no time here. Let's just jump right in. My voice is back also. <laughs> We're starting with brows. So with brow products, I have to give it to two. We have the NYX Brow Glued and then we have the ELF Dupe for the ABH Brow Freeze. This one is the Brow Lift. I feel like this one is a little less strong than the Brow Lift, but I I feel like it gives less of that like flacked on brow, you know, where it's like super shiny and like matte it down to your face. This one gives like a slightly more natural appearance, but it is really nice and tacky and keeps those brows in place, baby. This one's also great. Sometimes I'll get a little baby hair and put it in place. Now we have the brow lift which honestly works just as good as the brow freeze from ABH, so you're definitely not gonna break the bank. I gotta say, Elf had quite the year on duping products. You guys see how strong this one is, but it's like kinda shiny. It makes your brows really more intense, whereas this one's just a little bit more natural going, but they both work really, really well, and honey, we love to save the dollars. We love to save the dollars on makeup. Let's move on to primer. Primers, okay, I don't use a ton of primers, but if I had to pick a favorite one, it would be this one from the drugstore. This is the Revlon Grip. This is a 16 hour matte primer. I specifically like this one because it is a mattifying primer. And this year more than ever, I've kind of had trouble with my face being oily, oily, oily. It's super shiny, especially during their summer months. So this one's done a good job of helping. No, it did not perfect my skin, but it definitely helped. And I'll take what I can get. My skin's normally dry, but my God, my forehead just really popped off to this year. It's just like, we're gonna be shiny all all year long. So let's talk about some products that make your skin extra shiny, even if you don't want it to. I mean, how can I not mention these? These are like the drugstore product of the year because the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, we have her right here, blew up so big. Charlotte Tilbury has been around forever, but it really had its year the past two years. I'm sure it'll be big next year as well. But e.l.f. is wasting no time in duping every product they come out with. They're like, hold my beer, I got you covered. So they came out with the Halo Glow Liquid Filter, this one's number four. This one is number two. I think I'm a number two right now in the summer. I'm a four, but honey. <laughs> So basically you can wear this alone, but this is way too loomy in my opinion to wear by itself. So you can also wear it under foundation to give you that loomy glow. Now, if you have super oily skin, I really don't know that I recommend this product to you because it can enhance the look of texture, pores on your skin, or it can do you wonders. You know, it just depends on your skin type and what you're looking for out of your makeup. So I'm just gonna buff that in. By the way, ah, our brushes. Be sure and check out our brushes and our bundle with our women Cool nudes palette. Unfortunately, I would not be using it in today's video because it's not technically drugstore makeup, but it is available on larlylosangeles.com. But we do have low stock in the bundle where you get the full brush set and the um, palette together with the makeup bag. So be sure and check that out. I'll link it down below. Low stock on the bundle, everybody. But we do have separate brush bundles and some of the palettes we're also a bit low stock on. So thank you guys for all the support. I hope you guys are enjoying your brushes. This one's the L34, it's like a round top kaboom. And okay, do you see how it makes you like intensely shiny? So if you're not going for that, you might wanna avoid this product. Now I typically do not use these two products together. I'm just using them together for the video's sake because they kind of counter each other. I would typically use them on their own, but I wanted to, you know, have them participate in the video. Okay, for foundation, I really had to battle it out between two. I was like, what truly? I, and I try to rule out the foundations that I've gone to year after year after year that are older foundations. I'm like, what are some newer drugstore foundations that I couldn't put down? You guys have heard me talk about the bomb. I'm in shade honey. This is the bomb foundation from, it's called the Skin Fluencer Full Coverage Foundation Bomb, but I call it the bomb foundation from Sheet Lamb. And then you have the Flawless In Real Life by Uma Beauty. Their brand came out at Walmart. It's now at CVS. They have a lot of good stuff. So I figured I'd do like half and half my face. Now this one isn't as shiny. This one's really, really loomy and dewy. So it just depends on what you want. This one's supposed to be transfer proof long lasting and um, a little bit radiant on the skin. So I'm gonna take that same brush. I will say that this one is not nearly as glowy as the Balm one. The Balm one's like one of those super glowy foundations and Balm foundations like blew up this year. They were like super viral. Everybody loved them or they extremely hated them. There was no in between. It was like a war out there on the Balm foundations, which I think is so 
silly, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's just foundation. So you can see how pretty this lays out on the skin. This one is a bit buildable. Actually, they're both pretty buildable, I will say. And I think you get more medium coverage out of both of them. I don't think that either of them really provide a super full coverage look. I think they both get up to about a medium coverage. All right, so there you have it. It's gorgeous. It's really, really gorgeous. And I love how long wearing this is. So then you have the She Glam. There she is. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna take the classic L11 and just tap it in there. And then we're gonna blend it out. So this one's really loomy. So if you want to not have like that matte out look, you want a little bit of glow, this is a good one for that. This one also, like I said, it's pretty medium coverage. I think you could build it up to full coverage, which is great and all, but I think it does get a little extra shiny the more you build up. So just a forewarning on that. But I have really been enjoying this one and a little bit goes a very long way and it blends out just so effortlessly. Effortlessly, effortlessly. For cream, blush i mean it would be crazy of me not to talk about my cream blush that came out with she glam it's so affordable you guys i mean you get the highlighter with it as well i'm gonna use my l32 this is a stippling brush and i like this brush because it's so gentle it doesn't like buff away the product it's gonna keep the product a little more full coverage on your skin whenever you stipple and this just gives a really nice pink sheen and what i like to do is to apply this before i apply my powder products cute i love it i love this pink shade i think it's flattering on so many skin tones and it's a winner in my book baby concealer one of my favorite products and steps in my makeup routine is concealer. I'm gonna give the award to the True Skin Concealer. A lot of the drugstores concealer besides the e.l.f. camo one, which I loved last year. I loved it this year, but I just wanted to award something new this year. This one, I feel like gave a lot of coverage. I feel like a lot of the concealers that came out this year, since we are going into like BB cream and glowy skin and lighter coverage, they did not provide <laughs> as much coverage. And your girl needs a lot of coverage in that area because I do have darkness in my eye and I just like it to be coverage because it gives me a brighter youthful glowy appearance this one did a great job for that this is actually this shade is a hair too light for me this is o2 ivory i could go down a shade but this one's really good from catrice they have a lot of great products i think catrice is just one of those brands is like super underrated i'm gonna take my l34 this is a clean one and i'm just gonna tap that out <laughs> so brightening i love that if your favorite fit me powder by maybelline is gone out of stock i heard word on the street is they're discontinuing discontinuing it shocking i don't know why or what the idea is but i found one that i love just as much that's a little bit newer this one's by revlon color split say and this is the blot powder and in my personal opinion i think the formula is pretty much identical to that one so it just comes with this pop top holy moly it's magic. And I don't know, it's just that matte formula, but it's not like that super translucent. It's like actually has a little bit of color to it. Really great for setting the face. So I just felt like, I mean, maybe a dupe, but I heard they're getting rid of the, oh, I love it. I heard they're getting rid of the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm shocked, honey. I was shocked. Look how, girl, shiny mad as can be it's super mattifying just like that fit me one is so it's okay guys we're still covered i like to set my under eye real real good girl because my stuff will crease i'm just not about that life also i got these sponges off amazon if you're interested there you get like a pack of six or something i don't know you can get like a ton of them and then i like to take the excess powder so i'm not getting too too matte but i just like to press everything in i'm kind of looking a little ghostly today so we're about to bronze it up i have a newer love for bronzer i have such a hard time finding a good drugstore bronzer this one is our winner this is the okay so you know guys they came out with the infallible that just like blew up and went viral like in 2020 it was like the foundation powder where they came out with that and bronzer i think they only have four shades and unfortunately this is the lightest shade that i saw in the store number 400 they could have shades that are lighter than this and maybe my store didn't carry it but this is the lightest shade i saw and it's called tan and i was like dang it's super warm tone i've been wearing it a bit lately and i've really been enjoying it it actually comes with a little mirror on the other side of it which is cute but this is really warm so you're not going to use this for contouring you're going to use this for your bronzing more like bronzing and warming it up rather than sculpting so i'm going to take my l31 angled brush this one's nice and soft great for applying anything around those cheekbone areas and i'm going to take just a little bit of it because i'm telling you it's spooky it's so intense but I gotta say, nothing will warm you up 
like these bronzers and they do blend out so buttery just like the foundation powder you just gotta really trust the process i still think i went in with too much i think i got a little happy while filming but oh my god it's so bronzy okay brp i'm gonna blend this out for 30 minutes <laughs> when I don't have any cheekbone left. I'm looking crazy right now. It's giving 2016. Am I mad at that? I'm not. I'm not mad at that. I kind of like that still. While I'm blending this to filth and <laughs> getting this smoothed out, let's talk a little bit about Better Internet Initiative this month and bring awareness to some small businesses because we're shopping a lot this month more than normal and it's so important to support small businesses. Did you know that small business owners account for more than 64% of jobs in the United States? That is a huge number. There's a lot of small businesses in the United States. I feel like we just don't hear about them because we hear about other advertisers that we're used to seeing or a little more comfortable seeing. We don't so much see as much advertising for small businesses so they can be skipped sometimes. It's really important to support small businesses. I have two small businesses myself and did you know that 20% of small businesses fell within the first year? That is a shocking number. By shopping small businesses, you guys can help shift the power of corporate monopolies and shift it over to small businesses. And whenever you shop small businesses, which by the way, I have another small business TikTok video coming out very soon. I've ordered a ton of stuff. I'm just waiting on everything to come in. But whenever you help small businesses, you help give opportunities to different communities. If you guys check out my Amazon gift guide, a lot of the products mentioned on there, I know Amazon's a big business, but a lot of the products being sold on there and they even have a small business section on Amazon and a lot of products I've listed are from small businesses. And so I think that's really cool opportunity to support them. Okay, do you see how like bronzy I am? I told you it was warm tone, so it's not so much contouring, but I was like kind of ghostly. And now that I added that, like I'm super, super bronzy. So I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of my blotting powder and you knew it, I'm just gonna, you know, we're gonna clean it up a little bit. This is my favorite part of makeup. For a minute, I was like, maybe I should stop doing this. And then I was like, no. <laughs> okay, for powder blush, I have a new one that I'm obsessed with. This one's by NYX. NYX. Who is NYX? This one's by NYX. Ugh. It's called the Sweet Cheeks. And they have a bunch of different colors. This color is my favorite. It's called Bang Bang. And it's like a mauve deeper color. It's really great for winter. So I'm gonna go in with a clean angled brush. And I'm gonna stipple this on just by pushing it in. It is so pigmented. You're gonna be blushing up for days. I like to just sweep that across my cheeks. I'm gonna take my L33 and we're gonna sweep away the excess powder. Even down here, we're gonna go ahead and sweep this away. Skin lights, 100th year in a row, still a favorite of mine. I mean, there are a lot of drugstore uh, pro oh, is this one brand new? I think I got my new one. Be right back, I'm gonna get my old one. Here's my old one. This is one is in the shade 201. It's like a champagne color. I'm using my L35 wispy little brush. And I don't do nearly as much highlight as I used to, but I always have to add just a little, and especially to the nose. This is where I love it. Also love a little milk mustache, you know, gotta have a little bit of that. And fabulous. So let's go ahead and jump into eyes. I actually wanna do my brows. I kinda of spoiled this, so this is my favorite. This is the color icon, Call Me Sunshine. I think the Wet n Wild little mini palette, it's just like in general, are a winner because of price and quality. And then the drugstore section. It is a little harder in the drugstore section unless you're talking She Glam or ColourPop or a brand like that to find quality eyeshadows, but I feel like they do such a good job. And they do a really good job with their color story layouts and their palette. They make makes sense. So I love that for Wet n Wild. They, they kill it. Um, this is a newer palette for them, I believe. I've had it for a minute, but not like for that that long. So let's go ahead and do our brows. So NYX came out with a dupe for the Glossier brow pen. It's called uh, Lift to Scratch, Lift and Scratch. And it's this little microscopic brow pencil. Mine's in brunette. And it is the exact dupe for the viral Glossier one. Glossier. I can never remember if it's Glossier or Glossier, but either way, you know what I'm talking about. So this is a total dupe and it just creates those little brow-like strokes that give your brow that really natural, filled-in look. Alrighty, let's dive into this gorgeous, gorgeous eye shadow palette. 
First, I'm going to take my L36 with this lightest brown shade. A lot does come off, and these are a little bit, you know, you get a little bit of fallout, but honestly, for the price, you get a lot of pigment, and they do blend really well, so I, there's nothing much I can complain about with this. I mean, I can't get fussy. It's like pick and choose your battles here, and this is definitely worth your coin. It also makes a great little stocking stuffer. I'm going to tap into just a hair. This one's so pigmented, this like mustardy caramel brown. It's so pigmented. You you don't want to get crazy unless you want it everywhere. So I like to go in little by little and just build it up. I'm just using this large, this huge blender. Okay, I really want to do, I haven't done like a bronze brown, like bronzy color, and I really want to get into this color. So I'm just going to apply it with my finger here. It's so gorgeous. You're literally gorgeous. I'm actually going to use a brush. I was wrong about that. I'm going to use my L39. This is our smaller flat shader. I'm going to get some on my brush and then I'm going to go in with my favorite drugstore setting spray. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to take my L40 in the lightest shade and pop that into the inner corner because you know it's going to give it that pizzazz that we really need. And then I'm also going to hit the brow bone with that exact same color. Wow. For eyeliner, I think Maybelline and NYX, but I'm going to choose this Maybelline one, make the best matte black eyeliners. They're a long wear liquid. They make great pins. This is the one I love the most, the most. This is the Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. They actually have this one in brown. They have a smaller one in a pink tube they came out with a long time ago that is with a brush tip, which I do prefer a little better, but I love this formula as well. My brush tip one is completely done, finished, just need to buy a new one. This is a runner up, if you will, but it's still amazing. Like I think Maybelline just really captures that great eyeliner moment. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little wing. Isn't that fabulous? And it does dry down matte, which is the chef's kiss. For my favorite mascara, we're gonna go a little bit old school. We're gonna hit it with the L'Oreal telescopic this went viral again this year especially like on tiktok and stuff and i went ahead and got myself a tube and i have been using it you know pretty religiously it's such a good one i will tell you it will get clumpy on you in a second if you're not being careful with it but my god it really adds some length and some lift to these lashes and you know not a lot of mascaras add lift i find like they add volume and length but the lift is where it gets hard and i feel like this one's so sticky that's why it can get clumpy really easily but that's also how it has the power to give a little bit of lift a little lift with the lashes okay I feel like that's the real hack with the mascara is blow drying your eyeballs <laughs> If your eyes weren't dry then, they'll be dry now. And it really just helps it set in place, lifted. And I do all that just to put lashes on top of it. I really do. You know, it doesn't make sense, but here we are. So I'm going to go in with the, look at this shirt. It does this to me every year. Every winter, I'm like, let me get that my favorite gray sweater. And then it's just this. What's going on? These NYX lashes went viral on TikTok because they were the dupe and they're supposed to look like lash extensions. And I got to agree they are so good but if you're not used to putting on the false lashes they can be a little difficult because the band on them is really flimsy but it's transparent also these are so 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 long like literally they'd be out to my wing you definitely have to trim these so don't skip that step the duo lash glue with the green label is by far my favorite drugstore lash glue but my favorite lash glue period Drugstore or not. So I trim these up and they apply pretty easily if you get the hang of them. But again, that band is really flimsy. So if you're a beginner at lashes, you might just have to play with these a little bit, you know? But I think these are so pretty and they literally look like lash extensions. The only problem with them is they sell out everywhere. I went ahead and lined my lips, but I gotta give my favorite lip product to the Shine Bond. This was like a newer trendy product that came out this year where you put on the lip product and you put on the shine and it like locks it in. I have these in a bunch of different colors, but I wanted to go with this brown color just for like a fall-esque, holiday-esque. I mean, I should be doing a red lip, but you know, this one's pretty. Oh, what color is this? This one's called Boundary Pusher. 
All right, now we're gonna flip and do the other side. Now that's lips. All right, to set my face, I'm gonna be using the Stay All Night Microfine Mist from e.l.f. This was by far my favorite drugstore setting spray. I will say this was my favorite like high-end setting spray. This one was my favorite drugstore, but they're both great. I like a long-lasting setting spray. I feel like I'm giving Wednesday Adams mom vibes. What's her mom's name? Oh, that's gonna kill me that I can't remember it. But anyways, I feel like I'm in a weird way giving her vibe. Is it the straight hair? Guys, I don't know. Anyways, that's it for today's video. This is it for the look. This is a very fall time look and we are in holiday season. So I don't know what's going on with me, but I really wanted to do something a little different than my normal nude lip and show you all my favorites. I'll have everything linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. I love the way the eyes came out. So pretty, it's been a long time since I've done a bronzy look and yeah that's it for today's video i love you guys thank you for being here watching hopefully i saved you some coin this year and don't forget to check out some small businesses and i will catch you in the next video subscribe before you leave bye guys